today's video, we start a new series about how to help your kids learn through games. And we'll take a look at Clumsy Thief, an addition skills game that you and your children will enjoy while reaping the educational benefits. Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome back to Friday Night Game Night on Real Family Gaming. Today, we're going to talk about how, as parents, we can help our kids learn through the use of games. And I'm going to go over one game in particular that we got our son for Christmas. So let's get started. For those who may not know, we homeschool. That's a topic for my homeschool channel, but there is a crossover when it comes to educating through games. Notice, I didn't say educational games, because I think that gives off a connotation that the games are going to be boring and exist simply for the purpose of educating and are not going to be fun. I would say that pretty much all games can be educational for children. Most games teach something, whether it be strategic thinking or critical thinking, math concepts, spelling, history, geography, Really, I can't think of a game that doesn't teach a child something, even if it's just social skills like learning how to win and lose gracefully. In the homeschooling community, this is known as game schooling, but you don't have to be a homeschooler to help your children learn, and in a fun way. Who says learning has to be boring anyway, right? Today, I'll go a step further, though, and talk about a game that may have a heavy educational value, but can also be fun for the whole family. If you saw my video on what games we bought our son for Christmas, and I'll link that video in the top corner right now, you will notice that we purchased the game Clumsy Thief. The full title of this version is Clumsy Thief in the Candy Shop, and it's listed for ages 8 and up for 3 to 6 players. When we first played it, though, I played it with our son only, so it was just two players and it played out fine, but is definitely more fun with more players. In this game, you are dealt seven cards, and then you make stacks of 20 from the numbers on two of those cards. They are candy cards. Once players make whatever stacks that they can out of the cards in their hand, you say go, and the chaos commences where you try to steal another player's candy stacks by adding one of your cards to the top card of their stacks to make 20. As an example, if I had a stack that was 14 and 6, and the 6 was on top, Another player who has a 14 may place that on top of my 6, making 20 again, and steal my stack. If you wish to add more cards to your own stacks, you can that way as well, making sure that you're just adding up to 20. You can even steal back a stack that was just taken from you. But beware, there are special thief cards in the deck that allow a player to steal any card pile without having the right card to add up to 20. And on top of that, there are jail cards, which can only be placed on top of thief cards, and then no one can steal that stack away from you again. There's a definite strategy involved in what cards you place on top of your initial stacks of 20, and when you might play your thief or jail cards. After all, the bigger the stack, the better. Each round plays out until no one can steal any more stacks. And then a new round starts where you draw cards from the draw pile until you get your hands back up to the original count of seven cards. And then everything starts over again where everyone makes additional stacks of 20 from their hand before the thieving frenzy commences. Play continues in rounds this way until the draw pile is gone. At the end, you add up all the candy cards in your stacks, and the person with the most candy cards wins. This game is fun, fast-paced, and quick to learn. For those who have played Happy Salmon, it has a similar feel to me. This game can be fun for the whole family, but it's practicing those math muscles for your little ones. It's fun enough, though, that you won't feel the need to get rid of it as soon as your kid has mastered those skills. That's a big plus in my book, as we've invested in lots of different learning games that have outgrown their usefulness quickly and weren't fun enough to keep around, which can feel like a waste of money. The company who makes this game also makes four other similar games. Clumsy Thief Jr., which is adding up to 10 for kids age 5 and up. Check the Oven, which is adding up to 12 for kids age 7 and up. Clumsy Thief Money Game, which is adding up to 100 with double-digit numbers ending in 5 or 0. Think skip counting. And Check the Fridge, which is adding a series of numbers up to 25. Those last two are listed for ages 8 and up. 
Of course, your mileage may vary based on your children's abilities. We could easily have done this game listed for age eight and up when Stephen was only seven and doing first grade math. But the latter two in the list he probably couldn't have done earlier than the recommended age of eight plus. We may add those two to our collection in the future, and I'll be sure to link all of the options in the description box below. Thanks for watching today's Friday Night Game Night. We hope you liked this video, and please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more board gaming content. Click the bell icon to turn on notifications so that you will never miss a Friday Night Game Night. We hope you play some great games this weekend, and we'll see you next Friday.